I was actually getting really engrossed in the music there for a second. <laughs> I was going to end- I was going to end it on fucking, uh, whatchamacallit? The Golden Temple, but I was like, I don't know, I- I was sitting in the menu of RetroArch and I'm just like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, look, we had- like, it was a long weekend. Uh... Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday was a uh, yesterday was like a fun fun times at the arcade. Then mm -hmm. you know. Next, th the next thing you know. Next thing you know, all of a sudden we're here on another day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm still, I'm still tired. I don't understand how. And I gotta do, and I gotta do a uh, what you call it tomorrow. It's like my. Uh, Working in. Oh yeah, your tech. Yeah, your your working interview and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. What if the ghost was the the host of your birthday party? <laughs> oh yeah, the title. <laughs> what would you do if the ghost was a host? <laughs> we got our little ghost buddy here. Yeah. Where we have to try to fucking. I I really hate how the way you have to save this game. Press all these yeah. buttons at once. It's like. WHY PROGRAM IT LIKE THAT? JUST HAVE IT IN THE MENU! Uh, I love retro games, but retro games sometimes hate me. <laughs> hmm. So, anyways, uh, speaking of retro games, guess what I was playing last night? Oh wait, no you uh... don't. I was playing- Oh yeah, you- The house, take me up the day! I was playing Jaws. Yeah. No, but before that, I was playing. I was actually playing this really good PS2 racing. Bro, mm -hmm. I know. I'm taking you there. <laughs> Calm down. I was just playing this yeah. really good. I think it was a launch title because um, it just What's says called Kinetica. 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 Yeah. Because it only like, it only exists with like a Sony logo on it, and I think it was made by like Vivendi. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it's like really good. It's difficult. All right, all right. It's not difficult mm -hmm. in the sense of like, oh, you know, it's a fucking racing game, right? Yeah. No, but it's, it's difficult in the sense that it's like, all right. You have like 12 characters, right? Mm -hmm. There's six, there's six regular, there's six recolors that are the exact same. There's like three or so, unlo there's yeah. like three or so unlockable characters, right? Uh -huh. And you only have, like, a few maps at the start, so you have to, like, get, like, oh, you have to get first place on the- on this mode in order to get that, right? Mm-hmm. I'm able to get first place in free race just fine. But then I- then I play- <laughs> Then I play the mode that you need to get a first place on, and it's almost impossible. And I don't yeah. know how- I don't know how that that is going on. But basically, yeah, like all the all the guys, like, all right, I consistently I was only able to get third place, right? Yeah. But like, and and this is in the series. I don't remember what it's called. It's called like uh, what should we call it? Mode. Um. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, I consistently kept getting third place. And I don't know why or how, but apparently, uh, first and second place go so fast that they basically outlap everybody. Oh. Yeah, oh. like, it was almost impossible to hit first place. Which is ironic, because in free racing, it's like, it's actually pr Remember that one racing game we were playing at the arcade? The one with oh, all yeah, the freaking Asphalt women? 9 or whatever the hell yeah. it was called. Tick tock, tick tock. What do you, what do you want? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tock! Telling time is easy. Yeah, asphalt. Yeah. It, it, it's kind of like that. Like, where it's like, it's a fucking, like, bro, it's brutal. But it's got, like, Mario Kart elements, like, you're able to get, like, weapons and shit. Mm hmm. But yeah, like. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it's like, it's, like, really good. And basically, I thought it was robots, but no, it's like people in like these uh, robot like power suit things, and they're yeah. using those to race. Like I said, it's really fun, challenging. I, I 
I played it at my cousin's house like once back in like mm -hmm. the day when it came out, but I never I never knew what it was. But yeah, like it fe it feels like uh it feels like PS2 because um like early PS2 because it's like all the art render zig mm -hmm. are are like the same assets that you see on like the box cover and everything like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's that old. But yeah, so we went to the arcade yesterday. Mhm. Mm and we had some and we had some fun times. We had some fun times. We sang karaoke. We played yeah. the fun games. Oh shit, here we go. Yeah. Enter. My house. Nostalgia unchanged. The first nine chapters of Tales gets trolled, didn't know there were 25 chapters. I also did the boyfriend from the hit funny rapping game FNF is a. <laughs> really? I'm not surprised. He's like in everything now. Enough! Cemetery. Take me, my grave. Good thing that that's not a far walk away. Yeah. Fr Friday night Funkins and everything now. Uh, pretty good. We just started, so you know. Yep. I'm talking about yesterday's events of going to the arcade and basically yeah. dicking around for a while. Zig lost. Is it how? Is it how much change did you put in the gumball machine? I lost like at least a dollar. And the iron. Well, technically, it's seventy-five cents because it was your quarter, by the way. Yep. And you know what the funny part about what the machine was called? It was sweet like emotions. sweet emotions. <laughs> perfect name for a fucking perfect. Emo Perfect name for a gumball machine that doesn't give you anything. Yeah. It makes you feel emotions, all right. Anger and annoyance. Mostly annoyance. Yep. What? That was like the blue, and that was like the blueberry bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, it was the blue one and shit. You know, my favorite, because you know, blue's my favorite color and whatnot. Hey, blue, my favorite, and it's like, nope, denied. Yeah. Oh yeah, believe it or not, in Kinetica, you know what the funny part is? There's actually, what? there's actually, one of the racers has my colors. Purple and green? Yes. And huh. he's, and he's, and the, you know what the sad thing is, he's one of the recolors. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, I, like, obviously I have to represent, so I used him, and once again, in free race, in free race, it's you know, if, like, I'm able to win. Yeah. And I get, I somehow get, I somehow get stuck. I'm good enough to get to third place. But I don't know how, I don't know how to, I don't know how to get to first. Mm -hmm. Like, it, that, that, that bewilders me to this, that's gonna bewilder me for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, I also played Jaws, and I was eating people until I got to a level where I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And, uh, I stopped. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of... I just basically just played some Ma Max Payne earlier today. Oh yeah, I saw that. Cause you know, the pills are the only... The pills only make the pain go away for a while. <laughs> I gotta play, I gotta get... I gotta play Max Payne again. Yeah. I gotta feel that maximum pain. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if it's on. I wonder if uh, Max Payne Three is on sale again. That one's like really. I'm not really sure. That one's like really underrated. 
In the back, back when it came out, people were like, you know, giving it the shit. It's kind of like... Oh, oh, it's not the same as the original. It's like, so what? <laughs> Don't gotta be... Like... It's linear, just like all the other Max Payne games are in terms of like, you know, what you do. But the levels are like nice and open. You got a lot of like, you know, options just like the classic ones. The only thing really different is, like, you can only carry, like, two or three weapons, depending on, like, what you take with you. Hmm. So, yeah, like, if you, li if you like dual wielding like I do, you can't carry around an AK-47. But that's fine, once again, you know what I mean? That's how they wanted to design the game. Thank you. A jar. In my home, look inside. Bye bye. I lie to you. The ghost is not gonna be a whole part of this whole fucking stream. It has been some time. Up as crossed, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish. The more restless he sleeps. Carry on, word. Can I rob the grave yet? No. Aw. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, like, um... What yeah. was it? What was I gonna say? Something about Max Payne 3. Yeah. I ro once again, ironic that we're playing... You know, that I was playing Jaws, and tonight we're going into Martha's Bay. Yeah. I gotta, like, I wanna play Jaw- I wanna play Jaws Unleashed on stream, but... It, like... Mm -hmm. Alright, that's another game that I feel gets, like, a somewhat bad rap. Only because of, like, you know, the age of the game and whatnot. Like, it's- Uh-huh. Alright, look. If you just- if you just wanna, like, play a game where you just mindlessly, like, chomp down on fools and shit, you play Maneater, right? Which is the game that came out recently. Yeah. I think it was even made by, like, the same devs. But you wanna play, like... You wanna play, like, Jaws? You gotta it's like a thinking man mm -hmm. shark game, dude. I think, like... Guess- guess- I got the- I got a me message in game, destroy the refinery. What does that mean? I assume you have to take explosive barrels and throw it at shit, but nah. So anyways, like, how was- how was your day? Cause I got- I got a fun story to tell. In a little bit about um, mine. Well, do I have a story to tell you? Alright, Zig, so you've- you've had me waiting on this for a little bit. So what happened to you today? Well, let's see. Um... I knew I was gonna feel like all tired and shit, whatnot, despite getting like a nice eight hours or so. Be because oh, I, yeah. I woke up two hours later than usual. Than sh you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yes, beautiful daylight saving. Did it end or did it start? It started. Right, yeah. Remember, spring forward, fall back. Mm hmm. That's mm -hmm. what they used to fucking teach us in goddamn, you know. Elementary school. I have to say, last year when we end when we ended daylight savings time, I I yeah. woke up so early and I felt so well rested. It was insane. I said to my I, I said to myself, why can't why can't every daylight savings time feel like this, huh? Mm -hmm. It's like no, because today I'm I'm thinking, oh, sh like at one in the morning, Zig. I thought I thought I was gonna be like, ah, oh, cool. I got two o'clock, right? No, yeah. three. But then I ended up waking up at 8, and I'm still- I ended up waking up at like 8.15, and I'm like, I'm feeling like shit. 
Oh. Yeah. I, I, I like and hate daylight savings time. Because when it works, it works. When it don't work, it fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. So, you, you woke up, you woke up, uh... You know, you lost an hour. How- so, what you- what Some else happened? Here. Uh, let's see... Um, I think I woke up just- and then, you know, I walked around for a bit. Just to see what the fuck's going on and shit like that. And then, uh, I noticed that I got a call. Well, I missed a call and everything like that. And it was- and, you know... Somebody did leave like a uh, voicemail and whatnot, so I thought, oh great, this is just some, uh, this is probably some fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, some robocall and whatnot, being like, hey, I'm from the Better Business Bureau. We, we notice a, you, that you have this type of credit score and everything like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm thinking, god damn it, what the fuck is this shit? What a Ziggy got himself into today. But then, as I checked my voicemail, uh, I get this call being like, Hey, this is so-and-so from round one. Uh, please give us a call back and whatnot. And then it dawned on me, because... As you, you probably know, Merrick. Yes. When, when you go to, when you do, when you try to, when you have to run out of room and for karaoke at round one, you have to, uh... Oh, you left you, your ID. Yes, I left my driver's license at the fucking thing. <laughs> so you had to drive down to round one without a license. And yes. And pray you don't and get... since I'm already driving down there without a license, I have to be extra more careful and shit, so I don't have... So I'm, <laughs> you don't... You know... <laughs> Can I say... I was... Imagine having to explain to a cop I'm on my way to pick up my license. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, like, license and registration, please. Well, I have my registration right here. I, I'm actually getting my license over at the place I'm supposed to go. Uh, so... Step out of the car, sir. God. <laughs> you gotta recite the uh, alphabet in reverse. <laughs> yeah, that, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not driving under the influence. Sir, who's a professional here? <laughs> <sighs> but yeah. So, you know, I was. I was there for a bit, you know. I was, you know, I was there for a bit just to see what it was like to be at the uh, mall on a Sunday and whatnot. Mostly old people. <laughs> and uh, most of the stores are fucking closed. Of course, it's a Sunday. Yeah. So, you know, it's just like... Eh. That it? Not, Do we not... have to go to the ghost's house just to get a jar of some shit? Oh yeah, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing over here? Yeah. I hate. What am I doing? I hate golf. <laughs> nah, but like, uh, what was I saying? So. What? Well, so probably while you were off on your little adventure to get your license back, yeah. I went down to I went down to one of my favorite retro uh, action figure shops. Lo, oh, yeah. lo and behold, guess what I find out. Two or three years time, the guy's gonna be retiring. Oh. So now the business is, now the business might be up in there. So apparently, so the funny thing is he he made I, he made an offer if I because I said I always wanted to run a shop like that. Like you know we talk about stuff in pat like you know what I mean. So yeah, I said in passing I said like I've always wanted to run a shop like this because I freaking love you know I mean I love like uh, figure collecting and whatnot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but to get how, how every time I'm like, don't get it to figure collecting, guys, whatever you do. <laughs> so I've seen your background. <laughs> so, no, but like, uh, so, uh, what happened was, I find this out, and I'm like, oh shit, no. I'm like, oh man. And I, like, 
he he asked me if I want because I said that he asked me if I wanted to like purchase the place and I said like like re like really and he's like that's when I found out he was retiring so now ma now you know got my Merrick thoughts here going on I'm like bruh I vote like <laughs> should I like I I don't I I don't have the money for it yet of course. But I'm thinking well, shit. Well, I'm not saying. I'm, again, I'm. I'm not trying to say this to be mean or anything like that. But uh, what do you know? What do you know about like running a shop and everything, guys? Like Especially some something if it's like a mom and pop sort of deal. Well, I know that. I know that. Uh, everything like specific. Well, not like not like mom and pop shops, but like specifically for certain you know like stores like that because i don't i don't think i don't think that that store like buys stuff from people huh. i think he's got you know obviously i think he's got like suppliers so that's the whole you know caboose because he was selling he was either going to sell this whole like the whole location which is the land too or just the mm -hmm. stock yeah, or just like you know the the stock and everything like that. the name and like the branded stock. Yeah. And like I said, from what I know, from what I know of like uh, what should we call it? That sort of like that sort of like business is uh -huh. just don't rip people off. Like some like. Some of those figures, like, I could definitely be like, yeah, this has got to go down in price a little bit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, it's, I know what you It's mean. the reason why I don't buy, you know, it's the reason why I don't buy, like, everything in sight. It's all, like, retro shit. Yeah. Like, like I, go, I go there on, like, special occasion. I go, well, I wouldn't say special occasion, but I go there when I'm, like, you know, I'm feeling, mm -hmm. I'm feeling a bit... Which is kind of ironic, because it, it was kind of ironic, because I said, like, I feel like going there, because was, I was looking for... My my job of the hut the job of the hit figure that I really want to get for my uh, collection. What? My job of the hut. Oh okay. Yeah, that I've been really wanting to get for my collection and whatnot, right? And I said like, you know, yeah. maybe maybe they got it. Like, I'm, so you know you know when you get those feelings, it's like you gotta go there to see. Like, yeah, I've had those uh, I've had those feelings before and shit. Especially when it came to like, when it comes to like, you know, fucking retro game shops and whatnot, because you know, I'm I'm always searching for my uh, white whale whale and whatnot, being, you know, alien hominid for the Nintendo GameCube, which is kind of ironic because I found a white whale I found a white whale thing today, not at the shop, but at but in general, like one of my internet white whales, I refound it finally. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that happened out of the blue today. And I found it through mm -hmm. a completely unrelated thing, which was kind of funny. So, yeah. um, now, now, once again, I'm thinking like, maybe I would, maybe I'm meant like, not divine intervention, but it's like maybe I'm meant to, I was meant to go there to hear that information. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, I, I, like I said, I, like Harmon, like when I was working at Harmon, that place definitely gave me like the chops for like, you know. Not being an asshole to customers, you know, being like a good sport and everything like that, and not basically how the business yeah. works in general of like retail. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking like as long as, as long as I got like good leads and everything like that for like you know getting stock and whatnot, which I would assume that the guy would like tell me because I I, yeah. I have I have like mm -hmm. online. I mean, like, I have, like, online places that I can sell on, too. I know how to advertise. Mm hmm <laughs> I know how to advertise. The only thing that I- the only thing that I would need is, like, a, uh, whatchamacallit? A budget, like, you know, I wouldn't say, like, a budget, but, like, a, uh, what A business loan? Maybe. Yeah. I think it's basically it. Other than that, like, um, whatchamacallit? Just opening up a- so opening up a shop would be like, you know, maybe like one or two extra employees if that's like, but that would be like later down the line when I get a bit more in the, you know, 
Because hmm. I wouldn't, uh, like, I wouldn't mind, like, I wouldn't mind keeping it open if I owned it, right? I wouldn't mind keeping the shop. It's never going where, it's never going where I live, Zig. Like. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I'd have to, I'd have to get the freaking, I'd have to get the land too, because the fucking, uh, where, where, where I live, Zig, nothing lasts here. I know. It, 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 it's D, it's D-O-A, no matter what people say about it. That one figure shop that was close to me shut down and there's like a whole fucking mural there that's like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're we're gonna be a part of this. We're gonna be a part of this community for a while. Closed after two years of operation. It's it's different. It's different out by there. It's like like. Like I said, the only the only thing you have to deal with really in like you know where we are, <laughs> there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out on. There's a lot of people out here right that are terrible, terrible like resellers and freaking like you know. Mm -hmm. They think they're going to get like a million dollars for nothing. Hell, I live with I live with like one or two of them. Yeah. So that's like the whole like thing. Basically, basically. Guess what? Guess what we found in my? Uh, guess what we found in one of the closets. Where'd you find? Apparently, a designer pair of shoes that you know. Apparently a designer pair of shoes that are worth something, right? But you know what yeah. the you know what the fun thing about like all right, here's something that I learned over the years, right? Yeah. The only time something like that, like the only time some I wouldn't say like because they're shoe collectors and whatnot, but the only time like certain things are like you know worth a lot of money is when people are around from the time to pay a lot for it. If you remember that one little side quest in, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah. Night in the Woods, where you're collecting, like, junk from, like, the junk piles and whatnot. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was it. It was a secret. <laughs> he gave us a secret seashell. He said there was a jar, though. I opened the... Let me throw let me throw some mystery seeds in that uh thing over there. I wonder where the hell this how I wonder where the hell this house is exactly located. Yeah. If there's like a uh, what should we call it over the top of it. Or maybe maybe that was it. Yeah. Like the jar was the uh Okay, me never mind. Just go back to Martha's Bay. It's all good, Zig. Because I think- I distinctly remember it be, I don't know, I- Hold on. Was I distinctly remember there be, Was I distinctly remember there being, like, a key item or whatever there? Hmm. The things that they- the things that they change and whatnot, I don't know, between the versions. But yeah, like, um... <laughs> business, business talk, the stream, Zig. Yeah, basically. But yeah, like... You have to, like, you have to sell stuff when it's at, like, the peak of where, you know what I mean, it is if you're, you want to get, like, a certain amount of money for it. So, mm -hmm. like, if you, like... It's gonna be, like, the year 20... Like, l let's imagine, like, the year, like, uh... Imagine if we're yeah. alive in the year 3030 or something. Or th mm -hmm. 30, let's say 3022, right? People are not gonna remember stuff like the Lord of the Rings, like movies and whatnot or whatever, right? Like memorabilia of stuff like that is not gonna be as responsive. So basically, like I said, there's a time and place to sell everything for like a what for like large for like large boatloads of money. But the other thing that factors into that is like the commonality of items. And as I said, I've seen like I've seen like things that are like extremely common go for like a lot go for like way more than they're probably worth. Yeah. I'm talking like I'm talking like things that are like probably worth like five bucks for uh fifteen bucks and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I and I've spent and I've spent money on like uh, you know, things like that, yeah. so 
that's basically that's basically where like stuff is going to you know sort of change i would say when it comes to that sort of thing yeah <laughs> Yeah, like, it's like trying to sell, it's like trying to sell, like, a, uh... It's like trying to sell, like, a howdy duty for so to somebody who's, like, I don't know, uh... Hmm. 20, I guess? I guess, yeah. It's not, like... It's sort... Oh, no, 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 no! Hmm. Oh god, it got me cornered. It's sort of, it's sort of like a, uh... Buying and selling stuff is weird, Zig. That's like the best way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Supply and demand is weird. You want to voice the mermaid? Oh, sure. I've already looked around. Here. I believe she lost her top? Or like her necklace oh. or something. Yeah. If I remember correctly, it's part of like the trading sequence or hmm. something. Yeah. Like, oh, look, all, all of the contrived things that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do in order to get to the uh, mm -hmm. the dungeons in this game, though. But that's all in the fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is a dream, after all. Might as well live it. Also, that and that and my mom tried to force me to watch like a really bad movie. Yeah. 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 Freaking what the hell is it? Black Easter or whatever it's called? And yeah. it has nothing to do with any of those titles. Like, oh, yeah. So is this called that just because and shit? Well, I looked it up on Google, right? And it doesn't have a Wikipedia page, which says something about it, right? Yeah. So it's a modern. It's a modern, like barely even a B movie. You can actually watch it on Tubi. Uh huh. But I looked up. Apparently, somebody plays Jesus in it. Hmm. So I guess, and then it turns out I, I looked it up. It's, it's like it's like some weird Christian faith film or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, oh, this is so weird. It's number like it's in a. I, I honestly think it's a bit inappropriate, considering, like, you know, wh who the villains are in it. So, yeah. Like, this is gonna leave it at that, because it, it wasn't just, like, bad in that way, it was just very boring. I'm just sitting there, like, oh. so we'll see them at computers, like, he throws an eraser and, like, a, a golf ball at, like, a machine, and then, like, one teleports, the other doesn't. And then he realizes, wait a minute, time travel. And I, I, I stopped before they got to the time travel bit, and I'm like, this movie fucking blows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mom got so angry over that, I'm like, it's like, why do you care so much? He's like, oh, yeah. it's like a video game. And... Um, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. B boomers. Boomers with, like, uh, whatchamacallits. Mm. <laughs> Man, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be funny when, like, you know, us born on the cusp of, like, the 2000s and shit, right? We're gonna be like yeah. that one day. Hell, we kind of are like that, you know what I mean? I don't want to think like that, Merrick. Well, not, not, not in the sense of, like, you know, like... Talk about in the sense of, like, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, man, remember, remember like, X thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it. 
Like, we're, we're like, we're, Fuck. we're deep in the member berries, like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I know early, I know early 2000s nostalgia hasn't really, like, hit you. <laughs> oh, when, oh, when it kicks in, is go, oh, when it kicks in, it's gonna be, like, good for the short, for the while that it lasts, I think. Hmm. Because, like, 80s and 90s stuff is, like, you know, gone. For the most yeah. part, anyway, yeah. Like, we got, like, a few, we got, like, a few scared things, like, yeah. He-Man. Mm -hmm. We got, like, He-Man and whatnot. And plus, the, plus, like, the music from, a lot of the music from the eight, a lot of the good music from the 80s and 90s will never die. As long yeah. as there's people who listen to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god. I remember Ramo saying like we should all try to sing like the uh was it the cringiest thing ever? Yet no one yet no one sang good Charlotte. Oh hey, look at that. Hmm. <laughs> what luck. Yeah. And we got a second layer. Cool. Hey. But yeah, like, no, nobody sang anything like Good Charlotte or anything like that. No, not really. <gasps> Going to an MCR concert. <laughs> Man, like... You know what, next time... The next time I'm at, like, around one. Because I know... I know that's, like, a chain and everything like that. And I don't know... I don't know if... Uh... I, I, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that there's probably a few like out in like, you know, Pennsylvania and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm gonna see, I'll see if they have any, uh... I'll, I'll, I'm gonna see if, the next time I go to like, to, to do like karaoke there and shit. I'm gonna see if they have any, like, insane clown posse. I was literally about to say that. Yeah. Honestly, look, the be the best of yesterday was, like, House of the Dead 4, because I haven't played that game in, like, a long-ass time. And... Fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. What was the name of that game? It was House of the mm -hmm. Dead 4, like, that was the best one I played. And then, um... Cause they really gotta like fucking recite. They really gotta like cycle around games and whatnot. Cause they've had like the same shit in there for like the longest time. Oh yeah, no, I don't blame it. Oh yeah, by the way, when I was there, when I was uh, there just to retrieve my fucking driver's license and shit, there were still people out there like fucking hogging the DDR machines and everything like that. Like, you know, they have their backpacks and everything, and they're in their fucking, like, sweat gear and shit. Yeah. Might as well- might as well go to round one and, like, you know, instead of jogging, play some yeah. DDR. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's like, I understand why it's just annoying for everyone else who wants to play. Yeah, no, I- I, I don't play, you know. And, alright, it's not like they have- They had- alright, so they had one of those best of- Zuki, how's it going? They had one of those, like, best of DDR machines too, Zig? That one that me and- the one that me and Ramos were on, right? Yeah. And you know what the you know what the worst part about it was? Is that, like, I could barely call it a best of, because they didn't have stuff like, kick the can, fucking, like- Seriously? Yeah, no! Yet, yet they went back to like, you know, night I think like 97, 99 when the game like came out and shit. Uh-huh. 2000. No, it, it- no kick the can, no fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. It was only like, uh, all these like weird, like, J-Rock. Or like, raise your fist in the air, something like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't remember- Oh, whoa, 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 Aegon, Aegon, holy crap. Thank you for the raid! <laughs> Holy shit, I did hey. not expect that. <laughs> Hello, Mega Slayer. <laughs> I forgot raid message brought- Ah! Thank you- Oh, Mega Slayer, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Do you like the end of 
my name. Just trolling. For 2069! Blaze! Yeah, baby! Let's fucking do it, baby! Hello, Skella homie. How are you? I am doing okay, Aegon. I am a little tired still from yesterday. We're actually talking about uh, DDR and stuff. Like, we were at the arcade. And yes, yeah. I do both. Thumbs up. Nice. In, in, over, over internet thumbs up, baby. <laughs> but yeah. What are you selling? What uh, are you buying? Damn, that's where. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All the points. All I. The points. But yeah, like they don't. They don't. In the best of machine, they do not have freaking kick the can. They don't have waka laka. They, like, it's all like these weird, like, a load of this. you know, J Rock or like weird punk music and whatnot. I don't know if it's because it, because it, I don't think it's a difficulty setting, like classic DDR. Uh huh. Because, like, you'd get like different songs. Like, I know, like, Jerk It Out, I know, like, Jerk It Out was in, like, one, or, like, in one hmm. of the DDR games. And, like, you don't get that unless you play on, like, Medium or something like that. Hmm. But, yeah, like, what was it? There was, like, another one that I played, like, uh, my memories have just been sold. They don't have that. I guess it's either, I guess it's like a licensing issue, or something. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's the best of all the songs that we kept the license to. <laughs> Why would you do this, DDR? But yeah, no, like um, I, I can't do I can't really do DDR anymore on like uh normal. <laughs> I can't. I could I could still dance like a mofo. Zig, you know yeah. that, but I, I can't- I just can't do DDR. It's like fucking, uh, G- GTA. Uh, Guitar Hero. Yeah, I know. Yet, weirdly, I could still play fucking, like, Oom um Jammer Lammy. <laughs> oh, lordy, dancing. If I- if I ever get a good- if I ever get a good camera. If I re if I ever mm. wanted to do, like, a face reveal or whatever the frick, you know what I totally do it as? Yeah. We're gonna do a musical dance and stream. <laughs> that or maybe a ca- Mary you know what? Would it be possible to do like a karaoke stream? Uh... I really don't know, to be quite honest with you. It's like, it's like yo, we, we bring- we bring people in chat in the VC. We get them all going. It's like somebody comes in, they start doing, there's got to be a morning after, or something like that. Oh my god. Yo, that'd be fucking epic, though. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, uh, House of the, like, House of the Dead 4 still plays really good. Yeah. But they Skull of Dawn was a fucking blast. The, when I played it with fucking uh, Eugene and shit. Oh yeah, I was the spectator the whole time. How about when Vandersloosh showed up? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Vandersloosh. You'd have to worry about DMCA with karaoke. That's only if you clip it though. So plus it plus they plus they do when you do like karaoke they do it like weird like keys and pitches so it, it's as different as possible I think Zuki. Do you have to worry about DMCA when you do, like, the anime music challenge or whatever? Like, what's the OP and whatnot? I gotta try to get to Animal Village! Son of a bitch. I thought we had to meet up with Mon Monbo and learn about his Mambo and shit. Oh yeah, right. Because that's the- we gotta get the rooster, but I thought that comes later. VODs can also be DMCA'd, so you might need to cleanse or just not record it. But I also 100% don't know. I- I heard- I only heard that it was... I- I- I've had like all sorts of shit. Was funnily mm -hmm. enough, we- we watched a uh, VODs can be DMCA'd. Alright. Cause I've had- I've played, whatchamacallit, episodes of a- th like an episode of A Thousand Ways to Die on a stream. The VOD on yeah. Twitch did not get touched. But on YouTube, like, YouTube got taken out like that. To the point where we had to edit out like the whole freaking clip. I gotta find. I gotta find a way. I still have like a zip file with all of like those things on it. There's a way to do a yeah. stream and just not have it punished, published. I gotta. What's the word I'm looking for? 
Yeah, YouTube wields or ban hammer for strong hit. I actually have both the edited and unedited version of like those streams. Like we even heavily edited it and it wouldn't and it wouldn't work. So we had to cut the whole segment entirely. Yeah. So basically what we did was I, I have mm. a zip file of both streams. If anybody ever wants it, DM me and I'll email it to you. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> if you really want to see, like... If you really want to see, like, in a, a, a small bit of A Thousand Ways to Die in a freaking Night in the Woods stream. There you go. YouTube has it yeah. built in. Like, YouTube... YouTube... Fuck it, man. YouTube is fucking weird. That's gonna, like... It's because some channels are able to get away with it, other channels can't, is the weird part. And I don't understand why, because... Shouldn't it fall under, like, the same jurisdiction? I guess. Because, like, there's whole, like, there's whole a thousand ways to die clips on YouTube, and that's, you know... That's not DMCA'd, but a small segment in a frickin', you know... Larger stream gets, you know, the manhammer. Big channels have big managers' connections to shield them. And that's the funny that's part. True. That's the funny part, though, Aegon. The the channel that's hosting all those little episodes doesn't seem to be associated with Viacom at all, unless it's like, you know, somebody, a higher-up or something that work, that just has the channel randomly and they just said, oh yeah, you can just upload it or something like that. Hmm. <laughs> So, either there's a bigger piece to this puzzle going on, or I don't know what's happening. But yeah, like, not once, not once have any, like, any streams of copyrighted material have never gotten claim off of Twitch before. So I've always, I've always assumed it was just, like, you know, clips and whatnot. But then, small people have no resources of, or defense, they can get away with bullying them. Yeah. It's it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird though. It's just like, what the hell is that? Yeah, I guess. No worry. I'm trying to think. There was like one. There was like one situation that I remembered from a while back. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, by the way, the, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, thing is like right near Angler's Tunnel and shit. Ah, cool. Then we gotta get the bird. We gotta wake up the chicken. It's probably some unique techniques to ups. Obfuscate machine learning and algorithm identification. It's probably able to get away without auto detection. But if it's brought up manually, it might be killed. True. True. Yeah, because that makes sense. You can easily get around, like, the algorithm if you have, like, a... Whatchamacallit with it. It's like with Nintendo taking down videos of the Steam Deck. Running Switch emulator. They've targeted smaller people, but not big channels that have done it. Which, you know what's funny? That kind of concerns me, considering, like, uh, Disney, for example, right? I've yeah. streamed Star Wars games in the past. It's a miracle, because, like, I've, I've gotten hit. I've gotten hit for, like, Star Wars music before. Yeah. But, thankfully, not on the level of, not on the level from which that they took away, they took away the stream for good. Mm hmm But it's, like... What if it's built into a game, you know what I mean? And, they, and it can't really be changed. Oh, like the Dress Up Yoda thing when... Uh... When we did, like, the first or second Friday Flash Frenzy? Yeah. Kind of, well, I wouldn't say like that, but, like... The music, for example, right? Like... Mm -hmm. I've, I've not gotten DMCA'd before based off of, like, you know, what it was. I've gotten copyright claims for it, though, but I don't, I don't, you know, I don't... Yeah, that, that's a, that's a different thing entirely and shit. Yeah. So it's like, because if, if Disney ever gets DMCA happy, then <laughs> how does that work out if you, how does that work out if, you know, something is built into something else? Yeah. Man, corporate, like... Corporations gotta stay out of, like, people's fucking, like, shit, but... Mm -hmm. The copyright infringement system's a pain in the ass because... Content theft, I guess is the best way to put it. Even when it's meant yeah. for, you know... 
all forms of critique and like either you know personal enjoyment and whatnot. Yeah. Hell, like it. Hell, in theory. <laughs> in theory, anyone who downloads emulators is a thief. But nobody's gonna like chew you out for it unless it's like the company that you know made the game essentially. Basically. Oh, what a world we live in. Everybody goes crazy over- everybody goes crazy. Even the corporations go crazy over, like, the most minor offense. Yeah. How dare you play our music without your permission? Do you know how much this costs? You know what's funny, too, is that I know, uh, my- my stream of, uh, Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo was a copywritten claim and shit like that. It did? Yeah. Did they say, like, the re did they give the reason why, or...? Well, no, it wasn't taken down or anything like that. It was just basically claimed on oh. behalf of, like, the, uh, game's composer and shit. Ah... Uh. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I don't think it was, like, you know... Like, I don't think it was, like, the, you know, the fucking, like... I don't think it was, like, the actual composer, like, trying to take down the thing. I think it was just, like, some sort of, like, you know... Company that that acts on you know the guy's behalf and shit. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Apparently, I am Manbo, child of the sun. Fish, have you got an ocarina? Aha! Then I can teach you my song. Bloop. <laughs> the dancing fish. This isn't the mu this isn't the drum solo of life, is it? The drum solo of life. I think we learned that from like Wart. Yeah. Unless they replace Wart. You've learned Manbo's mumbo. When you get out of the water, play it. still not out of the water yet but yeah like i don't know it's weird because it's like all right for example right like i like i used to use a mod that adds like all sorts of cool uh creatures into skyrim right yeah and one of the things that it added you're halfway there are you talking about your stupid rain in Destiny 2? <laughs> I'm halfway there. But yeah, like, um... And it played the Jaws theme, right? Yeah. I didn't want that, but just did it anyway. I had to choose- I had to choose whether I wanted the mod for the creatures and, like, just have the- Cert- oh my- alright. Certified <laughs> dummy. I hope I read that right. I guess I'm, please don't take offense if I just call you dummy or- Would you rather be called dummy or certified? Hey yo, You did. Cool, I got it right. <laughs> dummy. Okay, dummy. Well, it's spelled- it's spelled like dummy thick, so it's not like- <laughs> you're a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> the doc- that's doctor dummy to you. Hey, no hoodie. And, you know, Aegon. <laughs> Dr. Dummy. Dr. Dummy Thick! <laughs> also, it's not oh. Dummy Thick. Just smooth brain to- Ah! <laughs> if- Honestly, if I wasn't- <laughs> Weird, Weird Al, Weird Al is a cool guy, but, you know, whoever, own, whoever, like, owns, protects his music on his BF. You know mm. what I, dummy, dummy, you know what I have to say to you? Dare to be stupid, brother. Dare to be stupid. Dare to be stupid. It's the only way we can survive in these, uh, trying, trying times. times. Yeah. Just gonna move my bag of rare action figures that I bought today. <laughs> yep. 
Pog. That's my favorite song by Weirdo. There you go, we got in full circle. <laughs> I was singing Weird Al yesterday though. It's like I got yeah. I got Yoda stuck in my head. Yo 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 oh, okay. Yoda. Ay ay ay. So what does this do exactly? I think that takes it to, to, like, you know, Martha's Bay and whatnot. Or not, maybe, never mind. Oh, yeah, it warps us to, like, ponds, I believe. Oh, okay. Or it just warps us here. Yeah. Hmm, weird. Pocket sand! Ah. My eyes. <laughs> I swear! No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. And then back to the... <laughs> How's it going, Merrick? Back to the pond with you. Stick to the <laughs> pond, froggy. You mess with the bull, you get the snot. <laughs> yep. You already got bogeys on your tail. I wonder, Zig, I actually wonder how Star Fox 64 runs with, uh, Project 64, actually. I thought you ran it with Project 64 before. I, I didn't test it out yet, no. Oh. I, 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 considering the amount of stuff that gets turned invisible in that. Hmm. I, I, you know what I actually did try out? Uh, Wait, so Conquer. Conquer was interesting with like t missing textures. Oh shit! Yeah. Now that's it. Now that's a game I'd probably get in trouble. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, weird question. But the next time I get 10k points in the redeem the thing, can you sing right back at you? Think. You know what? I will. Cause I can. I can do that. <laughs> That's another one I could do off the top of my head all the time. <laughs> so, are you gonna add that along with uh, the fucking Knuckles rap and the One Piece theme? Might as well. Fair, like, might as well. Fair is fair. I will. <laughs> yeah. I could just say I will sing a song, like, I will sing a song from memory. But then people would be like, I don't know, expecting maybe, like, uh. Try to think of like the most of like either the most obnoxious song to remember or something. What should we call it? I think I have to get to the animal village because hmm. there's a item there that we have to do for the training quest, and that'll get yeah. us to that'll be able to get us to talk with the mermaid. Can you sing Dad Battle with like? Oh god, wait a minute. Well, how did Dad Battle go again? Oh god. <laughs> the best thing. Uh, did I ever tell you about the time when I was in a fucking voice chat with some like, you know, with some like fucking kid and some server and shit? And he was doing like, was he was like singing like, you know, songs from was, Friday Night Funkin'. Was this the new ground server? This was, yeah, this is the one that got hacked and shit. This is the one that got hacked and whatnot because somebody fell for the, you know, Oh, hey, I'm making, I'm making this cool fucking game that I'm sending you through my Discord DMs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, I believe it, Zig. I'm gonna click on your link. Yeah. And Fuck, then <laughs> fucking crafty, crafty fucking hackers all of a sudden now. Yeah. Or people are just fucking gullible as shit. Like, you know, it, it don't matter. Like, in, in any day and age, you know, you're always going to have like fucking, you know, 
knuckle draggers and everything like that. <laughs> he was sick at the fuck it. And you were just sitting there in chat, like... I was just sitting there in chat, being like, Hey, that was pretty cool, but all the while, I'm just like, What the fuck did I just get myself into? <laughs> you can't leave now, you... You can't leave now, you've invested yourself by complimenting the kid so that you, you hope he shuts up, but he's not gonna shut up now. Yeah. Uh, I'm just watching, I'm just listening to this, <laughs> and most of the lyrics are just him going, Skip it up, boo doo skip it up, boo doo skip it up, boo doo <laughs> I, 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 okay, can I just clarify? I'm not trying to make fun of the kid in any shape or way. This, this is like, I'm just legitimately just talking about what happened from memory. The, you know what the you know what the worst part is, too, Zig? What? What you're describing sounds like that one sounds like. That one Diary of a Wimpy Kid book where, like, they had, like, oh, the talent show was, like, running out of time, so they had to do, like, two people on the stage at once. So, yeah. they, like, uh, Roderick's band had to play with, like, had to play with, like, some kid doing fucking figure eights on roller skates. Yeah. And the kid with the, the kid at the roller skates won for best performance. Hmm. Uh. Excuse me, bottom data. <laughs> Stop killing all the innocent bad guys they actively do to you. They're keeping me from waking up, man. I gotta. How, how are you doing, Rubescent? I've been playing. Oh, yeah, by the way, so, so it's like another game I've been playing actually, Sudeki. A game recommended by Rubescent. It's actually legit. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that you bought that on Steam, like uh, not too recently. Best, or not too. Uh, best five bucks you've spent in a while yeah. on a game. You know, long ago. You know, some people would be happy with an eternal sleep. That sounds dark. <laughs> I think about all the cool dreams that they'll have, and the nightmares as well. I, I think I told this story on stream once, but I was like, I was on uh, PS4 once with Peter, right? Yeah. And, um, what happened, what, for, for context, Peter is, like, a very good, very good friend of mine. We go back a long way. Um, yeah. Little League Baseball a long way. So, anyway, uh, I forgot what the point, basically I was just in a chat with him, right? We were just shooting the breeze. And then he starts hearing beeping from my house. Like, I don't even know what it was, but he thought it was, like, the, uh, carbon monoxide detector, right? Yeah. So, Peter... <laughs> Peter said, like, the most ridiculous thing ever. He's like, oh, but, it, oh, but if it is going off, then you'll go to sleep forever. <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, yeah, it's called death. <laughs> yeah, that's the sleep we call death. Oh, my God. Like, P the PS4... Go, like being being on the PS4, I'm like those part of the, that that was like extension of the Xbox days. I don't want to yeah. go back to that, man. That was horrible. <laughs> man, I'm the I'm the biggest of the, <laughs> the biggest Did you man. Know that I'm a spiritual lyrical spiritual lyrical miracle spiritual miracle lyrical miracle spiritual miracle. What the fuck are you saying? I don't know anymore, man. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm starting to have like fucking the brain convulsions. The brain convulsions and like you know <laughs> the things. You feel the, the things. You feel the rabies kicking in. The foaming at the foaming at the mouth. No, but I'm starting to feel a lot of things. <laughs> Mainly rage and anger. That sounds like rabies. Well, my I'm not foaming at the mouth, and I'm not like you know, and then my my fucking throat hasn't like you know, swollen itself in and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You wake up in, you wake up in the middle of the night screaming. I mean, I do that. I do that. Normally and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what, doesn't- wait, doesn't everybody wake up in the middle of the night screaming? <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I, get I get in another- I get into another copy of The Catcher in the Rye. Kill John Lennon. Kill John Lennon. John Lennon's been dead for how many years? Oh. Man. Kill Ronald Reagan. Kill Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Ronald Reagan's also dead too, kid. <laughs> Uh, but where am I gonna? I don't know. Fucking like. Uh, fucking shit. Fucking shit that goes on, dude. John Lennon's dead. <laughs> John Lennon. You didn't know that? You're like the only two. Yeah, the only two surviving Beatles are Ringo and uh, Paul. Paul. Hey, Ringo. Hey, Ringo. Shut up, Ringo. Well, stop telling me what to do. Fuck, what the fuck you John, I wrote a song. Shut up, Ringo. Uh, poor Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> I say that like he. I say that like he's suffering. He's probably not. He's just being like, are all these memes about me about? He's in like no, but he's in like. Up. He's in like cartoons all the time, though. Yeah. Like, does he still make music? Or no? I'm I'm pretty sure like he still has like a band and shit like that. Like you know, like the, the All Star Band as it's called and whatnot. The Ringo you know, Star band. Experience. <laughs> Ringo no, Star. Ringo Star's All Star Band. That's what it's actually fucking called. Oh man. But you know he he's he's living the life. No, because Ring Ringo's Ringo's a nice dude is the thing. Yeah. He uh, he's what I call he's what he's what you know we in the business call a real life cinnamon roll. Yeah. What's Paul been up to? Um, probably doing Paul McCartney shit. You know, being like, you know, I had another band that besides besides uh besides uh the Beatles, I was in Wings. You you guys remember Wings, right? And everyone like. Yeah, you did that one song with your wife, and that was basically it. I rem I know what Paul's doing. He played an extra in fucking uh, Tusk. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> no, cause no, cause the theory that Paul is dead. Oh right. Right, like the, and like the freaking I am the walrus cuckoo tree that's supposed to be like the confession or whatever. Yeah. Which I don't understand. It's like, how do you get, the, how do you get Paul is dead from that? Because apparently, if you um, like, acid is a hell of a drug, Mary. Right, right. Because, because well, listening to the Beatles and doing acid go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah. And then I remember Lucy in the sky with diamonds as a thing. Mm-hmm. And for some reason when I was a kid, I thought that one of the Beatles was named Joe. <laughs> Joe... Joe... <laughs> no, Joe is just an amalgamation of all four Beatles. Joe wait, Beetle. Wait, there's four of them? <laughs> Joe Beetle, my favorite member of the Beatles. <laughs> no, cause you know what I think the problem was, cause I, when I was younger, I, I was exposed to the Three Stooges, but I didn't yeah. know there was a fourth and a fifth Stooge. Yeah. Shemp and Joe. The question is, where's Shemp Beetle? Oh, there is a Shemp Beetle. His name is Pete Best. Isn't isn't he the guy who uh, isn't he the guy who like uh, took over uh, Paul's life after he tragically passed away? No, Pete Best was the drummer before Ringo. Once again, once again, I'm trying to like I'm I'm trying to imagine the Paul McCartney's like dead thing being real because the ridiculous uh -huh. the ridiculous part about it is that like the 
actor, whoever, I, for, I forgot who they said, I forgot who the theory says that he played. Like, who's play, who's like playing his role of Paul. Like, you'd mm -hmm. think he would have come out by now and said, It's all an act. It's fake. I'm not Paul. But no, he does it, like, you know what I mean? Like, is that not proof enough that, you know, <laughs> Paul McCartney's still alive? No. to think so we got the mambo that warps us yeah. back to the pond we have to get her like blouse or whatever do we yeah there's like it, in order to... it's huh. either it's all right i think in the in this version it's a necklace but in the japanese one it's like you got her blouse or whatever she's missing her top that's why she's not you know I'm not making this no. up, like, this is real, from what I remember. No, I believe you, I'm sure yeah. that's the thing. The thing is, I don't remember what we have to do to get it. I think it's either in the water somewhere, like, you have to, like, you know, swim for it like this, or you get it as part of the trading sequence, because that trading sequence goes on for a while. Ah! Here it is! Right! Hmm. Now, where's the, uh... There we go. Finally. Buddy. Would you like to voice the fisherman? Sure. It's no use, little buddy. A fish took my hook. I keep casting my line into the water. But I haven't gotten a bite. I thought this would ha I thought this would happen. I think we got a flower. We have the flower right now, Zig. So can you look up the uh, trade sequence and see... Cause we get him, we get him a new hook, or we find his missing hook. Yeah. And then we fish with him. Doctor Doctor Blouse is missing the top. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. We get him his fishing hook, right? And then he'll yeah. pull up the he'll pull up the quote unquote necklace or you know, uh, bikini top. We just yeah. gotta find the place to trade the flop. Can you not injure me like that? Thank you. Hmm. It's done. The Beatles are dead. There's only Ringo. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not Paul. Uh, you'll see Grandma Aurora fussing around in Mavi Village around her house or in Animal Village. She can appear both. Desperately, desperately in need of a new broom, hand her the broom and she'll be ecstatic. And give you a fishing hook that she found while sweeping near the river. So we have to give... We have to find a broom. So I have a flower right now, I think. Yeah, the flower. The hibiscus, right. Yeah. Uh... I would assume the witch at one point because, you know, witches with brooms. Oh, you have to give it to the, uh... You have to give it to the goat at the, uh, Animal Village. I knew we had to give it to somebody at Animal Village. I just couldn't remember who. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what's ironic about that, actually? So, Zig, remember how, remember how I was almost going to buy that $60 game guide? Yeah. So, guess what I found a guide to? What? That Yu-Gi-Oh game that Ramos is playing. Oh yeah, the 2004, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, it's, uh, Nightmare, uh, Troubadour. Yeah. I don't know who, I don't know where I got it from, but I have this game guide. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> I, I, I might bring it into, I might bring it into, uh... 
you know, retro shop, see how much it is. Yeah. If not, I'll keep it, if there's, like, decent art in it and whatnot, but... But the looks of it is just card stats. Like, if, it's not a, if it's not an action game, there's usually just, like, a lot of, like, card stats in there. But yeah, you yeah. see why- you see why game guides are helpful in the now times? Mm -hmm. You gotta, like, sometimes you don't wanna put- sometimes you don't wanna put up with, uh, you know, uh, what's- what's the name of- what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, ad, ads and, like, slow, like, web pages for your game guides and shit. You know, mm. read it, you know, take a look, it's in a book, Reading Rainbow. And I don't think nobody- I don't think nobody knows that one anymore. Take a look, it's in a book, reading rainbow. I can go anywhere. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus. How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I crashed Risk of Rain. Oh, no. How'd you crash it? I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Sure. I would like you to take this letter to a Mr. Wright who lives on the border of the mysterious forest, please. I'm playing on Switch. I lost all my progress. Oh! Mm. That fucking blows, dude. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, like, when you said you crashed, I was thinking you got you, you hit that threshold that apparently breaks the game. Oh, yeah. That- that apparently takes forever to do, but it's still possible, apparently. Mm -hmm. So you know where Mr. Wright is, right? Oh, yeah. He's right above the village. I run- right. I run into him- I run into him a couple of times. The thing is, I forgot what- I honestly forgot what he- Because I know he was part of the quest. I didn't- I didn't remember what you needed to bring him, though. Was the yeah. thing. Because he's been talking with the goat the whole time. <laughs> what sucks more was I was about to go to the guy. Wait, not the new, not the new DLC to me. You're talking about uh, Mithrix, right? That's the guy's name. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Funnily enough, I the last time we were playing. Uh, not, not the last, last time, but one of the last times we played through uh, Mario RPG. After the yeah. fact, we played uh, Risk of Rain offline. I actually made it to Mythrix, and I, I kicked his fucking ass. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I couldn't believe it. Like... <laughs> I forgot, were you there? Oh, no, no, you left last time, too, when, when I made it to him for... When I made it to him on stream. Yeah, no, oh. I think I was... I beat him- I beat him with one- I beat him with the new DLC character. Oh, one cool. of them. Yeah. Oh, no, I- I- It's like, I freaking fell in love with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the railgunner. Oh. Yeah, tracking- tracking shots, charge shots, dude. Dude. Like, I pick, like, that was one of the characters, like, I picked up, like, immediately and just clicked with. I'm like, yeah, I get this. Mm hmm I also unlocked- Oh! One character that I really want to play, though, uh... Engineer, I think is his name. Oh, okay. He, yeah, he was really fun with the little bit that I got to play him for. Hmm. And that was before we were on one of our final D&D &D sessions. Yeah. Holy crap. Zoles! Get off of me! I need to go see Professor Wright! Mm hmm. And he's from. You remember what. You know what he's from, right, Zig? Yeah, Sim City. Yep. Specifically the Nintendo version, because he wasn't in the, uh. Yeah. They made him. Which will. Was it. Wait a minute, Zig. Was there Sim City on the GameCube? Uh. I don't know, to be quite honest with you. Well, 
What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy! And look! The letter came with a photograph! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Life. Mm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. I love mm. it. I love engineer. Just I just like being supporter. Well, uh, it looks like all I have is this. Broom! how that be? I'll take it. I need the broom anyway. Yeah. You got the broom as your reward from Mr. Wright, but that photo was not of the goat lady. Yeah. So I see he'd rather settle for Princess Peach rather than Toriel. Yeah. Mr. Wright's an Mr. Wright's an old man, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand why he's not cultured. <laughs> Look, you gotta forgive him. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> he don't know no better. He's not like that. One, he's not like that one old guy from fucking uh, Chrono Trigger. Oh, I got. I, oh, my uh, my bro mod or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, you know, yeah. It was of the freaking uh, what you would call it? What the hell? The Nagas, I think they're called. Or that's, or yeah, that... the Nagas, right? The, the half-snake, like, half-human creatures? Yeah. Yeah, they're called Nagas. Who's Who Toriel? Hori. 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 You fucking with me, right? <laughs> Butterscotch pie, anyone? Scotch cinnamon, cinnamon pie. I can't speak to shit. <laughs> Butterscotch cinnamon pie. <laughs> oh god. I I I want to use the I want to use the line "pretty fly for a white guy" somewhere in that, but it doesn't fit anywhere. Is the worst part. So I just had to get a, I just had to get that out of my system. Hmm. Oh goat milf. <laughs> I like I yeah. like how it's I like how it's not it's not goat mom no it's goat milf. <laughs> escalated escalated it to a million in a second. <laughs> God bless the internet. Yes. I keep forgetting that this is the lost forest. I'm gonna get lost if I keep going. Mm -hmm. All moms are mil- Oh, but not every <laughs> milf is a mom. That makes no sense! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, hoodie? <laughs> All moms are- <laughs> So- <laughs> So you see, ma ma Mama Krabs, or what? What was what was Mr. Krabs' mother name? Uh, I don't remember. That is a fact. Says dummy. You, you, Mama Krabs. Oh dear, my poor old heart. That's you. Betsy Crab. <laughs> yeah. According to a Q and A section from, from like the uh, 
official New Zealand SpongeBob site. Oh dear, my poor old heart. <laughs> Wait. Eugene? Mother? <laughs> Guess you're gonna miss out on the panty raid. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about... Oh my god. No, no, you know what that reminds me of? What? You ever seen that one YouTube poop of, uh... Of, like, uh... What was it called? What was the fucking episode called? The one with the pantry raid and shit. Where it's like... Midlife crustacean, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mid... <laughs> yeah, there was a fucking YouTube poop That episode is banned shit. now, by the way. I, I know. See, there was a YouTube poop. Yeah, there was a YouTube poop of midlife crustacean and shit like that. Uh-huh. And... Why? Because... Nickelodeon's fucking weird. Basically... I forgot, they came under fire for some- They were afraid they were gonna get attacked for that episode, meanwhile. Everybody nobody, fucking cares. nobody cares. I don't think any I don't think any like, you know, the people who watch an episode way but like, you know, now care. Yeah. They portray they, the funny thing is they portray the panty raid as something wrong to do. Mm-hmm. So what so what happened in the YouTube poop zig? Um someone's I just remember where. <laughs> I just... You could, man. <laughs> I feel like if I say this, I'm gonna incriminate myself, you, and everybody who's watching the fucking stream. I was taking a drink of water. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be doing a spit take for a second there. So yeah, because it ends with uh. It ends with, like, you know, the quote-unquote panty raid, but, you know... <laughs> mm-hmm. It's basically like, you know, they go- they- they just go in, and, you know, they're- they're having sex with, like, this- this, like, lady and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> and it turns out that Mr. Krabs is fucking his own mom the whole time. What the fuck? It's okay, Gramps, I'll help you up to your room. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to find the YouTube proof somewhere. I don't know if they took take it, if, you know, they fucking took it down or anything. Because YouTube is where the poop is. Fucking love it. <laughs> Classic poop. They really thought people were going to get mad over sea creatures doing a fake panty raid. Also, don't they get caught and get scolded? Ziggy, where, where, where do you find these YouTube hoodie? YouTube, you, YouTube. Is, that's, that's where I found them, hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie. YouTube's a much different place than it was, like you know, many years ago. Like, dare I say, dare I invoke the name of the hash brown and a s slasher? Yeah. Like, like that was a YouTube poop that like. Pro got deleted prominently. Yeah, now it's on Vimeo. Oh yeah, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Vimeo. <laughs> the hash brown. I can't say it. I'll get in trouble if I say it. The hash brown. Brown. <laughs> it was like somebody saying, <laughs> and, it, and it was just somebody saying the word brown because there's no SpongeBob character that says it. The hash slinging, the slash bringing, the 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 crash pinging, the the bash singing, the hash slinging slasher. We did it. We killed the health inspector. Buried him and then stuffed his body in the freezer. Ah, classic. Yeah, I remember the. Uh, you know what? Now that, 
I actually do remember the name of the, uh... I actually do remember the name of the uh, fucking YouTube poop and shit. It was called, like, Spongebill Embarks on a Panty Raid or something like that. Of course it's one of those Spongebill ones. Spongebob had some good episodes. SOME! <laughs> MAJORITY! <laughs> like, the bad- like, the bad episodes are, like, few and far between. And, like, honestly- yeah. Honestly, like, hindsight being 2020 and everything like that, a lot of the bad episodes are still pretty fucking hilarious. Hmm. Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You had better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Please let me have it. Please let me have it. Please let me have it, Merrick. Here you go, old man. It's yours. Am I a pretty girl? <laughs> Keep your eyes open and watch. I watch a pro at work. My, that's a big one. The, the J became an Ome became a necklace Omega. What if I just have a stream where you just do SpongeBob quotes? Not a single original thought, just SpongeBob quotes. Um. Biggly biggly boo, biggly biggly boo. We must get to the nutty nut bar. It was his crab. It was his hat, Mr. Krabs. He was number one. Tell my wife I love her. <laughs> oh wait, no, no. I'm going to stop this thing. Tell my wife I love her. So yeah. Oh yeah. Another day, another migraine. Another Lady. Day. Give us a scale. Promise you only take one. You return the necklace, Omega, and got the scale, and got a scale D of the mermaid's tail. How will you use this? And there she goes, flopping around like a fish out of water. <laughs> Another stream idea. You read TGT or at least some of it because of the comic. Oh, Tails gets trouble because the comic is very crass. I'll consider it because I've had like I've had like media-ish streams before. Yeah. That that's got that's gonna be up there with like the reading random wikis stream. Oh yeah, that'll be a good one. Man, man, oh yeah, by the way, in this age, in this age of, like, information or fingertip zig, yeah. do you feel like YouTube is running out of things to show you? At times, yeah. You wanna know how far, you wanna know how far my YouTube recommendation recommendations have gone? How far? It's recommending me, like, old-ass fucking, like, uh, Rebel Taxi videos. Hmm. Like, I'm talking, like, seven years, like, seven years, eight years, five years. Like, before he did, you know, before he was, was doing, like, long-form content on the norm. Yeah. It's, it's so weird. 
because it's like... Mm -hmm. Pan's old stuff is not as good as his new stuff. It's very... Slow. Not as, like, you know, informed and everything. Oh no, my favorite. Not when I shift. They'll never catch me when I shift into maximum overdrive. I should have gotten the combo. Oh, what's this? I thought, I was, I thought I was supposed to throw something down that. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I know. Wait, wait. This thing. Not the Navy! Oh, boy. My favorite character. Hey, kid. You woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now, I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Yes. I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Isn't the person from Mario's stream team? He looks like Antasma, doesn't he? <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ah, take care. See you again. He looks like Antasma, but he's not- he's- he's not even from, like, another Nintendo game. I believe- I believe he made his first appearance in Link's, uh, A Link Between- A Link to the Past, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not the name. Oh, the wait, no, no, I could do that whole segment. I can- I can do that whole segment from memory. Um... Hello, you've reached the Navy's automated phone service. Squidward, the robots are running the Navy, not the Navy. Attention everybody, run for your lives. Robots have taken over the world. Our world. Ah! Now, SpongeBob, does Mr. Krabs look anything like that? If they take the Navy, they have taken everything. <laughs> Hello, you've reached the Navy's automated phone service. <laughs> no, here's another good quote that nobody remembers from SpongeBob. Hello, sea creatures! I bring you greetings from Apple World! Wait. Wait, we, we will, will bury, bury you! you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking worm gets eight. I know. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The length, the length set, which... That was... It was honestly from a not-so-great episode. It was Rockabye Bivalve or whatever? Bivalve? How do you say that? I don't know. It was the one where they take care of a baby scallop, and then like, you know... Uh, so, this is work! So this is what I get for working overtime. OVERTIME?! This is not as easy as it looks. Sometimes, I- sometimes, I lose the remote, and sometimes my butt itches real bad. You forgot your briefcase. Yeah. It's ain't as easy as it looks, SpongeBob. Oh my god. You leave a big stinky diaper for me to change. <laughs> I don't like that line. <laughs> I don't like that Patrick line. <laughs> Not one bit, sir. Secrets are like water when it comes to the bridges. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it. Water under the bridge, and you gotta go under the bridge. Yeah. So we need the hook shot to get over there, but... Yeah. Wait, no, maybe... I 
it, I think it, wait a minute, I think it could do it with the run jump. Hold on. Nope. Cause that rock over there, and then we have to use the mermaid scale on that. I think the... I think the hookshot's either available in the shop, or the game. The trendy, like, the trendy game or whatever it's called. Oh. I thought... No, you got the hookshot from, uh, the... from Catfish's Mall. Then how do we cross over, unless it's on this? Unless the entrance is on this side. Alright, we'll, we'll head around this side and see what's up. You have to use the warp pad. Right! Right. Right. And I believe if we use this... Mm -hmm. Take us back to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the pond, then we could take the- we'll be close to another warp pad. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. And you know what the sad thing is? Rockabye Bivalve is attached to Crabborg, which is one of my favorite fucking episodes of the show. Yeah. And I don't particularly care for Rockabye Bivalve. Also another great, also another great underappreciated uh, SpongeBob quote. Mm-hmm. I defy you, Heartman. Oh yeah, from the uh, Valentine's Day episode. Yes. <laughs> no man, you you talk about be boo boo bop boo boo bop. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not be boo boo beep. Bop beep boo boo bop. I remember fucking watching that shit on a video now years ago in the car. Yeah. I can't believe, like, we couldn't... Portable DVD players were a thing, right? Yet, yet they still made video now. <laughs> yeah. It's insane to me. Video now. And then they had to make the video now, like, with color. Yeah, because the first one was, like, with black and white and shit. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, what? You had to go, you had to go full Game Boy for that one? I know. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's go full Game Boy with it. Then the warp pad should be around here. There we go. Not be boo boo bop, boo boo bop. Up. Boo boo bop. bop. What was the name of that song? Electric Zoo. Yeah. <laughs> no. I I I loved it like you. Um. Oh, remember Mr. Cra uh, sad, Mr. Krabs' sad story. Uh, what the hell did he say? I rem no. I raised it when it was a little calculator. I remember mm. the laughs we used to share. Yeah. No, not me cash register. The kitchen is no place for a live horse. <laughs> well, Alright, I'll see myself out then. <laughs> Are you looking for that warp head for the uh for Martha's Bay and shit? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna enter Martha's Bay from down here. Oh, okay. Yeah. This will take me- oh. I'm gonna go down one more. This will take me right to it. I think. Hmm. <sighs> y you know what's funny about this game, too? Yeah? I said this, like, at the first outing. It it's not like Zelda 1 where, oh, you have to, like, go in, like, specific paths in order to get to places and shit. But it fucking feels like it, you know what I mean? And that's what dry that's what drives me a little insane about it. Yeah. It's like there's a way to go. There's a way to go for sure. 
But, you know, it's not uh, super optimal. Hmm. I believe we go down here. No. I think you have to go up. Let's talk to the mermaid. Maybe she'll be able to help us. She's taking a rest around here, so. Yeah. Because we're supposed to go in that fucking moor and shit over there, right? Yeah, that's the dungeon. Where's the mermaid? I saw her sit on that rock before. There she is. Maybe she saw you. Oh, okay. She saw us and ran. Yeah. She did not want to be associated. An artist once asked me to pose for him, and he wanted to scale. Too. Can the legend of them? The magnifying lens be true? Magnifying lens? Yeah, you have to give the, uh... You have to give the, uh, scale to... Uh, ah, uh, there we else. go. You need the hook shot and whatnot. Yeah. There's the missing piece. Mm -hmm. Say, we gotta go down to Animal Village. And give that one guy the scale. You still need the hook shot for it though, Merrick. Oh. Or do you? We gotta get we gotta get the hook shot to get to that mermaid statue. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, uh, just give it actually just go. Oh here go we go! The, uh, yeah. Right, you gotta fr You gotta die for it! <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> uh, don't you love it when a game is a little cryptic on what you gotta do? Yeah, I guess. Level 5, Catfish's Maw. I, th I feel like I I I'd spend hours on this either way. <laughs> I every stream, every stream of this we've gotten lost, and honestly, that's fair. Where the hell is the... Helm of Rock? Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. At least we're gonna get the hook shot down here, so. Whoa. Wait, did I just launch a sword beam? I think so. That was weird, because I don't have full health. Maybe not. I wasn't really paying attention. Maybe I hit a bat, and that's what it looked like a sword beam going off. Yeah. Catfish's Maw. Mm -hmm. If I kill these guys, I bet you I'm gonna get a key. I need a key. Out, out, damn spot. Out, out, damn spot. Oh. You know what game- you know what game I really want to get now, Zig, actually? What? Frickin', uh, that one game that, uh, Civvy played. Power Slave? Yeah, the game actually the game looks legit. Yeah, it is. It's a first-person Met Metroidvania. Right up my alley. Yeah, and it's eight, and it's also ancient Egyptian shit. So what's not like not to like? The face of uh, Tutankhamun, or not Tutankhamun? Who the hell is that? Ramses. Ramses, <laughs> the man in gauze, the man in gauze, King, King Ramses. Ramses. <laughs> it, 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 Zig, it'll just be playing Sphinx all over again. Yeah. Except it'll be a proper sequel. Hmm. Oh yeah, Zig! <laughs> I just thought of something really stupid. Oh yeah? Return the slab. Oh, oh so my god. I just thought of a really stupid idea, all things considered. You know, I'm writing a game. <laughs> what if we code it in the Sphinx engine? 
As far as I know, that shit ain't open source, what man. The so fuck? No, it is open source. Remember they gave you. Remember they gave you a copy of it, with every with every copy of Sphinx. I don't have What's the. What's your offer? What's your offer? But you know, like with every copy of Sphinx that you get, you get the uh, you get the engine actually, so you can make a game in it if you wanted to. Mhm. Mm hey, there we go. Got a key. Oh, this is the level with the traveling mini boss, ain't it? We're gonna have to fight a skeleton dude, actually. So. So we're gonna fight one of your. One of your kind, Merrick? Yes. Unfortunately, he's one of the evil ones, so, uh... Alright, get the hunting shotguns and the shovels. Oh, no, you don't! Tweet, tweet, birdie. Tweet, 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 tweet! Hmm. <laughs> then you hear the fuck... <laughs> hear the Twitter sound. Return the lab, or we'll suffer the dab in the cab that slabs the crab and ab dab. What the fuck did you just say, uh, Ramses? I think Ramses is having an aneurysm. <laughs> Return the slab, or we'll suffer Return a stroke. The Return the slab or suffer a stroke. Yeah! Get your game! Oh! <laughs> we're already we're already fighting my own kind in the Here he is! Look at him! Big boy! Oh wait, uh there we go. Pop a bomb! It's just like Twilight Princess. Yeah. Return the slabber. I'm not going to let you use HelloFresh. Wait, that sponsored ended yesterday. <laughs> I don't even cook. I should learn. I gotta learn how to cook, man. Yeah. Arg! I can't beat you. I'm out of here. There he goes. And so now we gotta hunt him down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait. You don't need to cook with HelloFresh. <laughs> so wait, you're telling me that it automatically cooks the food on its own? I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm from the clapper. Clap on. My kids left me here to die. <laughs> I can't do that ad. I can't do that ad. Read Dizzy is not sponsored. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine. Oh God. If, if I ever if I ever get sponsored, those fucking those people better expect me to say what I feel like about the service and everything. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Bruh. Buddy, buddy, bruh. Bruh, buddy, bruh. Alright, so apparently I'm sponsored by What's your opinion rate on what's your opinion on Raid Shadow Legends? <laughs> That laugh should, uh, already signify to you what he thinks about <laughs> I, li I like the Death Knight in the commercials and that's it. Uh, everything- everything else about it is like... They're- they, they're really, like, they're really desperate for, like, YouTubers to, like, you know... YouTubers and, I guess, Twitch streamers to, like, do their thing. Yeah. I, I guess I guess I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people that you would call uh, that the ad people would call uh, persona non grata. 
Um, I, I tend to speak my mind too often until like, you know, just say like, Oh man, I can't wait, I can't wait to get into the raid dungeon and do the raid, uh... I don't even know what the fuck it's called. <laughs> what is this line? Oh, I gotta do this one last then. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, like, um... It would, it would probably be a long while before I'm able to actually get a, uh, whatchamacallit? A sponsorship. You know what I would- you actually, you know what I- you know what I- sponsorship- I wouldn't mind sponsoring if they're still around? What? So, alright, you know loot- you remember Loot Crate, right? And how like yeah. shitty- and how like shitty they kinda are? Yeah. So imagine getting- alright, so imagine this, getting Loot Crate, but you get a bunch of stuff from like the 80s and or 90s, and it's like action figures, it's video- it's retro video games, it's all sorts of cool little stuff in like, uh, you know. Hell, you can even get like these extremely gory like dinosaur stickers that are like <sighs> It's hard to explain. You have to like see you have to like look them up and shit. I wouldn't mind sponsoring them because I, I like that type of business model where it's like Oh, like you get like all these like loose old figures and whatnot. It's like yeah, we'll just throw them yeah. in like a loot box for somebody. Hell I I, I even saw somebody <laughs> I watched a video, someone got <laughs> The Barbie NES game. Huh. So, like, yeah, you you actually get like some you actually get like some pretty decent like shit out of it. It seems so. I honestly wouldn't mind sponsoring that crap if they ever came forward. Do you remember the name of the uh, fucking thing or? Ashen. I don't remember the name of it, but I, back when I watched Ashens, he did a couple of videos on it. Huh. I know it was called like the 80s box or like the 90s box or something. Also, if like one of those like weird like anime loot crate style things, if one of them is based off of Detective Conan. Oh, I'll fucking shill. I'll shill for anything, Detective Conan. <clears throat> Unless they give me a lanyard. Then I'll be like, so, you want me to advertise this? <laughs> Uh, that's just Loot Crate. No, Loot Crate gives you freaking like Funko Pops and crap. Like, uh, all right, uh, look, He Man. Like, all right, here's the thing. I'm not a '90s kid. I'm a '2000s kid, right? So, I I like, but I just I just like vintage like action figures and shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, He Man, Bed Show, funny characters. Like Skeletor and shit, right? Yeah. But their toy, like the toy concepts, are pretty damn cool. Like Rio yeah. Blast having, like Rio Blast and whatnot. So, getting, you know, getting figures like that in a loot crate is pretty damn sick, I'd say. Mhm. Mm like hell, Ashen's even got like I think it was a, a carded Dexter Jetster from Episode Two. Huh. Yeah. So that was pretty, like that was pretty cool. You get, you get like, you get like also things like it wasn't specifically from like the 80s or the 90s, but hey, 2000s merchandise. If you're getting like a Star Wars figure in it that's in the box, yo, I'll go for that shit. Hmm. I eat, look, I eat that stuff like fucking kibble. That's true. <laughs> so that guy's gone. He ran away. I forgot what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can. Master Skull. There can't be a better than Skeletor from the original He-Man. Just make him like the original Skeletor. I don't want Skiller to war- I don't want Skeletor to be the big villain. I want him to be the side villain. It's fun funny that you mentioned that because uh, Master of the Universe Revelation hoodie is a actually might make him the king of second bananas again because uh, he I think he has been turned into a pawn of Hordak. Hmm. I am not nice. I am evil. 
So yeah, he's going to be—he's going to be a side villain again to somebody. The pizza he man. Eat it. Uh, look, uh, look. Skeletor is every skeleton in the world's uncle, man. Mm -hmm. he, he's well-meaning. He's just, you know. Yeah. Oh. I forgot about these segments. Uh. I just want to have skeleton Skeletor as this little cute baby who tries to be evil but always feels to... But always feels and do good or just be a minor annoyance. I think you want- I think you'd want, uh... Robot Chicken Skeletor for that. Man. Oh, massage chair, if this were Canada, I would make you my bride. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Robot Chicken. What's wrong with Robot Chicken? Robot Chicken's pretty funny. Oh, Zig, they actually- Zig, finally, I'm talking about Robot- They- they recently did a, uh, a skit, Rudy to Booty meets Harold in the Purple Crayon. Oh yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> and he just- he just crudely draws nothing. I just have a slight beef with it because one- Night when I was like four, I stood up and watched Robot Chicken and I had a nightmare about it. Well, that's on you. Honestly, you I've honestly, you know what's funny? I've yeah. had that, I've, I've had a similar situation. But, you know what's funny? I've gone on to continue to watch it. For, I've gone on to continue to watch it. Hmm. Robot Chicken has just kind of become like one of my favorite, like, I guess stop motion sketch comedy is the best way to describe it. Yeah. Honestly, it's one of the only stop motion sketch comedies, so there you go. I still watch Robot Chicken here and there, just not all the time. I don't yeah, have cable. Right. I don't have cable, so I just watch like clips on YouTube. <laughs> You have to... I still can't believe that- I still can't believe that they did a freaking Ranma one-half skit with, uh, the nerd. Yeah. <laughs> that came out on f Can I- Get killed by the starfish! <laughs> <laughs> I kill- I kill the bone guy, but I get killed by the sc the starfish. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Can I hit him? Poke. Mm. Poke. <laughs> Pretty fly. I gotcha. Okay. So I just gotta survive and make my way across. Frickin' Stalfos are the worst, though. I know. Oh god, I just remembered, like... Oh, yeah. I guess a really bad one. They did, like, because they were making- they were doing, like, a whole thing for, like, the Transformers movie. Oh, yeah. There was angel dust in my teddy bear! And like the lady But then like there were two But then there were like two Transformers that were like Stereotypes or whatever Yeah But that was But apparently that They were that They were like Like I said When sometimes There was a point in time where like Shit gets like really weird Cause That one episode of that one episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, it didn't come out around the same time, but you know the one I'm talking about, I think, Zig. The one with, uh, G Wiz? No, the Flintstones. That was- Oh, right. 
Honestly, I think that was like the the worst episode of the series in general. Mm. Um, because it's like you if you didn't know about it, you wouldn't know what the fucking joke was. Yeah. So the jokes couldn't st the jokes couldn't stand up on their own. But it was a critique. It was a critique about uh, them start remaking freaking which we call it. What is Angel Dust? A character from that hit show has been, so has been Hotel doing in your teddy bear. <laughs> yes, inject the drug. Inject the drug into my system, and I get the ghost bells. Get hit with the soul pipe, Zig. Mm-hmm. Did I use my key yet? Uh, I'm not really sure. This is one of the... Crap! In the pit I go. Wait- Oh, the no, 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 I'm- I live, I live, I live, I live, I live. Damn it. Soft, you sloppy. Oh, yeah. Call me Poppy. But yeah, you wouldn't know if because they were trying to remake uh, the Flintstones or whatever. Yeah, I remember that from Pan's video and shit. Yep. And when he pointed that out, I'm like, oh, no wonder why that episode was so bad. It was starting. <laughs> it was starting beef where you know there really didn't need to be any beef. Yeah. Also, that was around the time where I was pissed off. That was also around the time where I was pissed off because of, uh, you know. It's a bomb! Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Classic, so where? Oh, we don't even have the map yet. Holy shit, I can't even check where we went. Yeah. So we can't. Alright, so we don't go that way. That's the way we went, I believe. Mm -hmm. No, oh, no, 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 we were going this way, right? So we gotta go that way. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is a pain in the ass. <sighs> left go, right go, pick up the check, go left, go right, go left. Where's Captain Jack when you need him? Did they have Captain Jack in the best of, uh, DDR or? Oh, I didn't well, even they know that. in DDR. I was about to say, wait, was that in DDR? They didn't have that in DDR. They didn't have that in the best of DDR, though. If that was in there, oh, you know for a fucking fact we were doing that one. Yeah. We are running to the railroad track. Run along with Captain Jack. Ba dee da do, ba dee da do. Run along with Captain Jack. Riding through the beast and back. Run along with Captain Jack. Ba dee da do, ba dee da do. Ba dee da dee da dee da. Shut up. From the classic YouTube poop. There we go. Finally, we found him. Yes. Oh, Master Skull! <laughs> you found me! You're a real pesky kid, you know that? Ah, uh, yes. You talk just like my uncle. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's blow him up. Arr, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. That's two. Mm -hmm. All right, so gotta go this way, I think. We gotta go back down to get to four, and then we beat him. Here. Yeah. I'm the Time Warner. And I can't believe people are passing around the frickin', uh, whatchamacallit. That one clip of, uh... 
Family Guy as the Seth MacFarlane uh, Simpsons thing. Hmm. Seth really gets a lot of shit thrown at him, though. Like, yeah, Family Guy really has been on forever, but that show is just, you know... I, I even think he wants it gone. Yeah. There we go. Look at how easy that was. But ironically, it's like a freaking. I know he's not. Oh, no more words to share? Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, I can't beat you! I'm out of here! Does Seth, do Seth even work with New Family? Like voice work, and that's pretty much it. Basically. It's it's literally only on the air for ten year reasons, like because Fox doesn't want to, you know, doesn't want to ask their cash cow and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, and f at last you got the map. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Press the start button and look for it. Okay. Wow, finally. I like that little at last, though. That was perfect. Mm -hmm. How that poor man... At least he's got the Orville, but... That might not last any long... That might not last much longer is the problem. Hmm. Wait, Mary, do we have to go back there and go down that other uh, path? We gotta go... We gotta head back this way because, uh... We gotta get to room number four. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I take it after we beat him, we get the hook shot and shit, right? Yep. Cool. And we get a warp to that. We get a warp to that room, but it's not like that's gonna help us much. Yeah. Cause it's in the stu it's in a stupid place rather than a helpful one. Mm -hmm. You do your trick too, Bone Man. Yeah, that's right. I can jump too. It'll cheer you up. Ba -da -dee -da -doo, da -da -dee -dee -da -da All right, Zig. The next video game you play has a dedicated s'more move button. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Well, about you know what? That would actually cheer me up. Whenever you press it. Even Swarm becomes a, I don't cheer you up. Ba -dee -da -doo, ba -dee -dee -da -da -doo. And just keeps doing that until, like, you know, you press the button again. Oh. You know what? Now that you mention it. What? Yeah, I'm thinking about it now and shit. And, uh. Yeah. I guess that would get annoying after a while. No, but you could. No, but you can, like, uh, whatchamacallit. Remember that time you got kicked out of the arcade because of that dance? Because of you that dance to a kid? I remember. Yeah, that's basically what Family Guy kind of is now. <laughs> remember when you hit that? You again? You keep going and going. Can't outlast you. All right, let's do it. What? Down he goes, come on. Ready for round four. <laughs> that last time was like a fr I was just like bullying him. Yeah. You got another one? You want some more? Die! Hey, I got him. <laughs> Got the hook shot. Its chain stretches it long when you use it. You killed Skeletor. Yeah. Hey, no man. No, he didn't. I'm still alive. Who the hell are you? I'm the real Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to see one of those Spider-Man edits. No, no, you. I'm pointing at you. No, you're pointing at me. Except the Skeletor. Mm 
All right, Zig, the legend of Soltar. Yeah. Kick-ass fighting games with action missiles. <clears throat> Look, he fires missiles, he's a warrior. Your computer is missing one thing. Kick ass fighting games with action missiles! <laughs> board! 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 I, lo I just love how Frylock thought he would. That, you know, the caveman thought. Like, he would. What's the, uh. I'm going to play That's the- what I'm looking for. Like, the, like, you know, Frylock thought the, uh, that the caveman was, like, gonna be, like, this, like, you know, this hyper-intellectual type of guy and whatnot. You know, because, because of his fucking, you know, computer and shit like that. I just realized the rupee count. <laughs> nice. Sex! Sex, sex! The number, the number of, of the, beast. the beast! Sacrifice! <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was gonna be like, you know, but not. Nah. Big brain, hyper intellectual type dudes and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But he's oh, still no. like a fucking caveman, so, you know, that animalistic part of his brain is still gonna be like, you know, me want fucking kung fu lasers with, you know, kick ass games with, you know, fucking. Action fucking missiles. Action missiles. No, but and he. No, but he. No, but that's the thing, though. He is. He is smart for an internet user. Like, like, come on! I'm not wrong, am I? You're not wrong. Oog think, Oog think computer missing something. Kick ass fighting games with action missiles. <laughs> tear head, Oog tear head off! <laughs> birthday birthday snake that was still one of my favorite episodes yeah yes you did you killed us I told you not to do it but you did it anyways <laughs> you so freaking did <laughs> no, no what I didn't no, what about the one where the Carl got reduced to just a head? Oh yeah. Don't tell Remember me you the one with the recorder. Oh. Yeah, Carl. Yeah, no, Carl gets like the brunt of all of like those bad things. Yeah. That that was that was another like completely like random one, but it, I it still was very good as the thing. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm Cause like, what did the what did the uh, recorder have to do with anything? Nothing. It's liter it literally is just a lead-in for the plot. That's it. You know you know how you know you know how this is gonna play out. This has been happening for like. Uh -huh. Damn, Carl, why you gotta be like that? Check it out, y'all. Check it, check it out. Check it up, yo. Check it, check it up. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hey, y'all. I'm still alive. This is very depressed. I'm very depressed. He did it himself. I did nothing. <laughs> Happy time Harry's gotta go. Yep. You're a bad influence on Meatwad. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way... What's like, up? 
talk about talk about Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I, my worst episode, my my still worst episode of that is the Zucati Manicotti one. That's the one with the puppet, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was, but that wasn't Aqua Teen. That was like Aqua Unit, Unit, whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. that, whatever Patrol. name. Was it Unit Patrol? I think it was like. Or probably something you know, whatever. Yeah, you know when they kind of officially ran out of ideas. Yeah. Like. They played, they played up the bit, like, they played up, like, the, the best analogy that is Super Birthday Snake, you want to know why? Because, yeah, yeah, Snake, Shake did do something fucked to Meatwad by not getting the bunny, he got the snake, whatever, right? Mm hmm But the thing is, though, is that, like, the whole bit is played up for the lat, you know, it's, it plays into the joke, right? Yeah. Zucati Manicotti? No, it doesn't. It, it's just, you know. It, it's just kind of like. It's just being fucked for the sake of fucked is the best way to put it, I think, you know? I guess. Like, it could be, mu it could be much worse, but. I don't know. It. What it tries to do. Like, it does this weird horror. It does. It tries to do like horror, but it doesn't come off as horror. It's just kind of like. It's just kind of like, you know, depressing to watch rather than like funny. Hmm. Unit patrol, unit patrol, brat brat, unit patrol, unit patrol, brat brat. Here we go, I think I got- I think I found the way out now. The Freedom Cobra. What do you eat? Skulls. Bones. Here. Daddy needs meat. Almost out of here. I just need the key. And we'll be all set. Where is the there's a power bracelet? Swing. Oh! Goma! <laughs> I forgot about them! How do I beat them? I gotta hit him in the eye with some. Oh, the bow, right. Yeah. Oh, and they're passing through the skulls. Mm -hmm. There we go. I don't remember. Mm. You know what's funny is like. Goma, gomas are like spiders and they're like crabs. It's like, you know. Spider crabs. Yeah. They keep changing, they keep changing like. Species. That's goma. Biggest crab I've ever caught. That's a goma. Open your eye. Very good. Open your eye. Come on, do it. Do it. I'm gonna blind you. <laughs> there we go. Give me whatever you drop. Alright, you're next. <laughs> go, Carl! Suffer like G did. You're next. Yeah. Go, Carl! Fucking House of the Dead, too. I'm Carl Brain. Where's Carl's brain? I'm Carl Brain. Alright, come on. Open your eye. Stop stalling. Do it!
Open that eye. Give me the path to the brain. Stop! Seriously, why ain't this thing opening its eye? Do it. I was afraid of getting killed? Come on. Open the eye! Damn it! There we go. Come on. Do it. You're afraid. You're just a little chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. Get a load of this! There we go. Boom, shaka laga laga! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> felt good. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Where is the power bracelet? Wait, was that for nothing? Wait a second. Something's not right here. What am I missing? That was just to open the path, and... What was the point of that, other than, like, a warp zone? Wait a minute. Let me take that warp zone back to the entrance. Alright. Get off me! Little buzz blob. Nope. Okay, so there's no secret path that way. Go up twice to get back to the Master Stall Post from part one. Go right and down the stairs. Take out these stars and then talk to the owl who will say dive under where the where the torchlight beams do cross. You have to go back to the uh remember that little pool? Oh the yeah, right! Pool. Right. Yeah. Oh god, these... Let me just get the cross... Let me just get the... Crossbow. <laughs> this ain't the Wii. Link is in need of an upgrade for, like, his, uh, ranged weaponry. <laughs> Come on, come on, I don't... It wasn't that way. What's your opinion on the mobile game Cookie Run? I've never played it, but I know that Finn from Adventure Time is in it. It's just like an endless runner, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I don't- I don't explicitly dislike those. That's not the right way, neither. Nope. Finn's in it. Yeah, he's you in it. to go up. This way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's- he voices, like, the main cookie. He's in, like, the commercial. You could hear- you could hear his voice coming from, like, the- I'm just the normal cookie. Where everyone thinks I'm a normal cookie or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I, but I can save the world or whatever. Yeah. Adventure time, except Finn's a fucking gingerbread man. Finn the gingerbread man and I don't know.
I was the... Mm -hmm. I was the he most heroic cookie in the tray, or whatever the frick. What's up, hoodie? Finally, we got the nightmare key. Yep. Where's my sting ointment? <laughs> we could probably we could probably exploit that uh, Goomba for like full health pickups, yeah. but. So just to make things better, you can use Mambo's uh, Mambo to return back to the entrance of the dungeon and shit. Oh, and really? Use the portal to get back to the Goma, uh, Goma's room and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, cool. I forgot what the boss of this place was. It's a uh, eel. Oh, it's an eel. I'm an idiot. And you. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Oops. You gotta. It... I wish that this. I wish that this was like the uh, the switch port because he ha once again, you get an extra mm -hmm. button for the sword, and then everything else is attached to the buttons. Yeah. I am distracted by this delicious pot roast. Former heavyweight champion. <laughs> oh god. Zig, you, you gotta watch, uh, whatchamacallit. Santa's Slayer. No. Uh... Grudge Match. Oh, okay. It's- it's like... It's the Rocky Balboa movie that never was. <laughs> Would you like the voice? So... You are the outsider. Come to wake the wind, fist. <laughs> I shall eat you! Yeah, you and what army? Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I, I, forget I forget how big he was. He's a big boy. And oh. a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. And One, two, three, four. I'm oh, sorry, that sucked. You got it, Ziggy. I got eels crawling up my fucking ass. I got eels crawling up my fucking ass. It made me feel so good. Oh, holy hell, it hurts so bad. <laughs> I like doing that. <laughs> Eels. Eels. Escalators. Eels. I'll show you with the escalator out of here! <laughs> if you get the eel again, you lose, Spongebob. Yeah. Not the same when he's not screaming over. Sorry, my voice is still a little bit fucked from uh, karaoke and shit. Yeah, like. So I'm like at like you know 50% my capacity and shit. We're we're all we're all in need of a recharge. Mm -hmm. And and it's look and it's daylight saving time so start that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. 
So everybody loses an hour of- Don't you dare fall in that pit flick! Don't you dare! You fucking saved yourself in that shit. The eel damage- It, it didn't matter, I would've fall- I would've taken damage is the worst part, mm -hmm. either way. Later, groupies! Fuck you! I got you! Damn it! Fucking eel. 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 Eel's up inside you. Whoa! That's a fake! <laughs> Eel's up inside you. Find an entrance where. Tisk, tisk. You don't seem to know what kind of island. This is <laughs> What a fool <laughs> Damn Damn indeed At least we got another heart piece I mean heart container fuck there it is! Mm -hmm. The pan flute! I'm not startled anymore. The comforting pan flute music will so soothe me. Yeah. You've got the wind marimba. Oh, it's a marimba. <laughs> mm -hmm. In my defense, it looks like a pan flute. You got the heart piece to open the door to Angel Island, plus Knuckles. Shrine. An island secret. In the shrine. Well then, since we have a little bit of extra time, might as well go trade that mermaid scale in. And then we go to that, uh... Yeah. I feel like... I feel like makes a better joke. What you talking? What you talking about, hoodie? Yeah. Oh god, I gotta fall asleep. I gotta go to sleep after this. I feel like yeah. I could make a better joke. I'm hop off for now and shit, cause you know I have work in the morning and whatnot. All right, so Zig. have a good night, everybody. Alright, Zig, have a good night, buddy. I'll catch you later. Might as well turn this in, cause look. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, good luck on your uh, job. Uh, good luck on your working interview tomorrow and shit like that. Thanks, Zig. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it- I'm gonna give it till my- I'm gonna give it till I die. Well... I'm gonna try to get at least to the shrine. It's just only because they're trying to save without dying is a pain in the ass. Is that the mermaid scale? I can't use it now. I have to work on the drawing. You should go finish the mermaid statue for me. Alright! Right, we have to go to the statue with the- yeah. I didn't have to do that anyway. Alright, cool. If I die, I'm sick. I'm not. Wait. There we go. Cuz. There we go. You put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. Ooh, what's down here? Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, they're all invisible. Oh shit! Yo! Whoa! What the hell that was? <laughs> I just got predatored, I think. Alright. I think that's enough for now. I have to- I have, uh, a working interview tomorrow. Were they supposed to be- I think- yeah. You have to do- 
You have to the, the that invisible. Remember the thing that the mermaid was talking about. That's what allows you to see those enemies. Basically, you just try. You basically you just try to like uh, what you call it, survive until you know. Hell, it might even be an emulator. I could, I could, well, I can't exactly pull up my physical copy of uh, Link's Awakening and test that out because I don't have a save file anywhere near that part. But I can say this. Th that, that part feels like it's supposed to be that way because there is invisible enemies in a ton of Zelda games. So, I honestly think that we learned some things. Hoodie, did you learn anything tonight? Because, I don't know. You know what? I think I'll raid... Shining Force New Horizon. Who should I raid tonight? You know what? We'll go, we'll go to somebody. We've got a lot of people, so let's go to... Let's go to somebody new that I followed recently. Nightshade Fox. Seems cool, but... Uh, what should we call it? I learned that Justin Spongebob quote is funny. <laughs> one, one day hoodie. One day hoodie. You know what? You know what I'll do? I'll play. I'll play more like Battle for Bikini Bottom, and then I'll uh, do that. I'll do the uh, what we call it. I will do the only SpongeBob quotes. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Nightshade Fox. I think I spelled it out. All right. So anyway, guys. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. And remember, as always, be yourselves and remember. Mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho. Mo mecha cha, mecha mo mecha hey. Pickle barrel kumquat, chimichurri changa. That's the secret word of the day. Alright guys, catch you all later. Merrick out. See you guys.